apps for the simple landing page using uh, Tailwind HTML. We will create an React based app and see how much it consumes. It consumes around the number of chat or prompt I use. Now you know it's actually worth it or not. So there is my verdict. Topic launched their Cloud 4 family, Opus and Sonnet. And they recently launched it 3.7, but now it says they have a Opus 4 and it's Sonnet 4 that's fitting the old benchmark of 3.7. Now, the thing is, as a general user of Gen AI, so only thing that matters most for us is the cost. So let's test that out. So I have top up my account. As you can see, it's around $11.21. So we are creating two apps. First is simple landing page using a uh, Tailwind HTML CSS, which is very basic. So we will give a gigantic prompt each section of you. And we will iterate that until we get our perfect landing page. And next we will create a React based app. So let's see how, if you go to the this particular blog and you will find all the benchmarks here, there's a software engineering. It's beating every other model out there, even O3 model, which is the topmost. And as you can see here, Sonnet 4 is at the maximum, which is 80.2%. I will be using the Windsurf code editor right here. They have added the four family, but they didn't add it as part of the subscription. But as per the change log, they have added the functionality to bring your own key. I'm going to build a simple landing page for my website. So the prompt will be this. It's actually a very basic prompt. I will be creating a landing page for my SEO services. So, so let's see how it goes. And I will be using three tech first, obviously this HTML, this CSS, but I will be using the Tailwind CSS as well. So, and the simple JS for the, all the behaviors. So let's get, see, let's get started. So it has started uh, creating it. Let's see what it's going to do. As you can see, I've already selected the Sonnet 4 version because Opus will be on higher end. I won't be able to, you know, afford that because it's costly. So let's, let's wait for the outcome of this. Okay, so it's done. So what it actually did is it used the CDN version of the Tailwind. CSS. It's fine. It's fair because I didn't mention any thing to localize the Tailwind. Anyway, so everything is acceptable here. Let's open uh, the preview. So which the preview is here. Oh, wait, let me open in the external browser. It's actually very good. Okay, so outcome is actually really good. And I really want it in this way. So first is dominate Google with proven SEO strategies. This is what I have told. And if you want to, you know, copy this particular prompt, you can go ahead and get that in the description box. It will be redacted into a website where is the promptslip.com which is created by us so you can go ahead it's completely free 10,000 plus GPT prompts are free so go ahead and grab that and anyway so this is so this is the placeholder for the video which i've already told so this is will be my form to get all the leads that's great and our complete SEO arsenal so this is the features okay so i wanted to add the graphs obviously it has created the placeholder for the graphs so i will be able to add the graphs here SaaS platform so proven result that speak volume ready to dominate your it's actually really good for this particular piece because if i want to add more a uh, section to it i just go ahead and iterate that as much as possible so let me do that and so okay okay before doing that let me go to the the console and see how much credit is eaten for this this particular result so it was 1121 let me reload that and 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 okay only 30 okay 30 cents right so that's pretty neat but let me complete that the way i want okay let me do that and come back and let me see how much credit is eaten so so now let Let's note down 10.96, let me complete that. Okay, so it's done. So let me see. Okay, so so let me let me give you an overview how it is. So so let me reload that and there you go. So this is the hero section. This will be the part of the video which I'm going to paste that in the later part. So, and this is the overview of my features for my landing page. And this is the one by one section which I wanted to include my landing page. And as you can see, so there's the on-page SEO that gets you. It gives, it's actually gives really good vibe here. And there's a good statistics on the right. And if you go to, so there is a light and dark combination just like any landing page you see on the internet. And this is also underlined, okay, there might be some fixes which i want we need to do and we will do that so as far as now is pretty neat and now there's one more thing that i've added is to you know cto on each features for example if someone is wanted you know increase the authority online they can just click on this there so there is a pop-up we can fetch all the details we need here 
and there is more which is the technical issue so there's all the rest of the sections here so there you go it's perfect so we have got our landing page just like the way we want it and of course you of course we need to fix all these underlines and stuff let me give let me see and how much credits it consumed so let me reload, reload that okay only 30 cents that's perfect maybe the landing page is not that complex in nature but what we are going to create next is something which which requires a lot more complexity so let's go ahead and create a new app okay so here is the idea so as a user enter the website they will enter a search query for the specific places they want to find so it's actually place finder or i would say the google place finder where a user can check for the places on the map as well as chat with it and then check reviews and check ai based reviews and then check ai based sentiments whether that place is good enough or something so this will be the workflow now let me create a react app create react app for now 10.69 dollars in my anthropic account and let's wait and see how much is gonna cost me to build this app okay so here we go we have got our app ready so it took around i think 40 minutes to complete it and first let's test the our app here first of all a user need to enter something like for example dentist okay so if you want if a user want to search about the dentist into their locality or something you can choose either country either the states and they can also add the gps coordinates just like that okay so let's for example choose the united states and choose the new york ny and just cl click on searching so see the front end now as you can see here uh, it added the cool animation just keep going on and on and there is there it is so after clicking on the search places so you they have given us 10 places so it gives a little preview of uh, image the name of the place number of reviews as you can see 4.9 and up to going to the 4.8 and 4.8 so there is also the coordinates as well as the address as well you can just click on it and there's a website there's a phone number you can easily go ahead and check that here now here is the crazy part so to analyze each place here you can click on the analyze with the ai and then after you analyze the ai it will automatically get the reviews of that google place as you can see here now to analyze all the place photos and all the information with the reviews now click on the analyze now so it will send all the data to the open rate router api and there it will get all the analysis here and there you go so as you can see so overall sentiment is positive so next is strength so it will give you all the strength pointers then there is the areas for improvement sentiment or trends and this is highly recommended and the links goes on and you can do that with any result you want for example here just click on analyze ai it will automatically gather all the reviews here and it will send the reviews to the open router and give all the analysis just like that so if you are if you want this particular app you know want to customize much further you can freely go ahead and i will put the link in the description box so so now move, now going to the the real question how much it cost so it we were at 10 point something right and let me let me reload that and see how much it consumed it consumed around three dollars for this complex for this complex apps the verdict is actually outstanding but i don't see any difference between the 3.7 and the 4 maybe i haven't uh, tested out on that much level but i see no difference to be very honest because i use 3.7 inside the windsurf and now going for the is it actually valuable i don't think so because if you sign up for the windsurf account the pro plan which starts from the 15 dollar and they have included 500 prompts credits per month so 15 dollar for 500 prompts is actually steel deal why let me give you an overview i just ran 10 prompts to create a app like this for example so create a react app and there is a follow-up question so total number of chat or prompt i use is 10 and for the 10 it costs around three dollars and to consume 15 dollars it only gives me a 50 prompts that's it so it's equivalent to 10 percent of 500 prompts which they give for 15 dollars 
So I suggest you to go sign up for something services like Windsurf or Cursor AI or any equivalent tool. But I suggest you to go with Windsurf because it's pretty cool and they also added the SWE1 model which is totally free. You can sign up to the Windsurf using the link in the description box. Now you know it's actually worth it or not. So there is my verdict. So how did you like this video? Do let me know in the comment box. See you in the ne next video. Until then, bye bye.